Well, the Vegas PBS Special Needs Library is expanding to help more people across our valley. And here to talk about how the library is making a difference is Nikki Bates with Vegas PBS. Good morning. How are you? Hi, Leslie. I am fantastic. Thank you so much for having me. Of course, you guys have had this library um, for a little while, but are now expanding the services. Yes, it's, it's really important to note that this library is available for free to all Nevada residents you, because we utilize grant funds. Mm -hmm. Um, there's over 3,000 unique items dealing with autism, hearing and vision impairments, mm -hmm. and they can be sent directly to our, to our patrons free of charge. That is uh, pretty cool because are you guys the only library that really does this, has, yes. has this focus? Yes, absolutely it is. Mm -hmm. um, individuals, uh, it is really, it's available for anyone with disabilities, but also parents, teachers, therapists, mm -hmm. and providers for those who work with children or adults with special needs. And that's, that's very important. You have a book in your yes. lap right now um, that gives us just uh, an insight of how the difference in the books you guys have are yes. not much of a difference, but how they're helping. How they're uh, helping. The deaf, for the blind, instance. special needs. Yes, yeah. this one is for, is perfect for a parent who is sighted, mm -hmm. but yet has a child who might be learning to read Braille. Okay. So it's, a bra it's Braille, but also again for the parent who's mm -hmm. sighted. They're both able to experience this particular book, and we have many of these books available in the library. That's amazing because not many cities have something like this and it's good that we do. Talk about the importance of having a center like this for our community. Yes, this is, it's simply in our DNA. PBS and member stations, uh, what we know of as closed captioning today, we were the first to develop that. PBS was the first to develop that and air the very first programs with captioning. So it's part of who we are to make sure that all have access to educational media. That's so important um, because we need everyone, like you said, um, that, that specific point so everyone has um, access to this. What else is coming up with Vegas PBS and education? You know, we provide uh, probably 900 parent engagement mm -hmm. workshops per year. We've also recently expanded our children's area mm -hmm. where uh, through great, uh, very member donations, mm -hmm. through uh, individual donations and corporate donations. And this is a, a children's area where specialists can come in and teach parents how to work with their children. So they're very structured engagement activities. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also an area where children can play while their parents peruse the library. But Vegas PBS offers many educational services mm -hmm. above and beyond the broadcast. Your viewers are welcome to go to uh, VegasPBS.org yes. mm -hmm. forward slash education. Call us at 799-1010, option five. Okay. as well as email us at emsinfo mm -hmm. at vegaspbs.org. Perfect. And, of course, we're going to put all that information on our website as well. But if we can uh, bring up that uh, website right there, you see it at the bottom of your screen. It's vegaspbs.org slash education if you want more information, not only a library, but all the other services you guys are providing, parents, students, and people around our community. Thank you so much, Nikki, for coming by. Thank and you. And stay with us.